Please, brother. AM Hotel. I'm Ujas Nevne. In Fundishi, Djibouti Bus Car and Group, also in Priority and Director of Black Gold Sacred Culture Hall Healing Center, mm -hmm. 121st Street in Harlem. Uh, right now, we have um, starting every Thursday, we're doing uh, ancient Kemetic spirituality classes where we take you into the various temples all throughout uh, Kemet, all the way to ancient Kush. Myself and Brother uh, Kaba, uh, Hawafa, Booker T. Coleman will be leading these questions. Uh, some of the DVDs that will be showing is um, Magical Egypt. We're going to break it down. Also, starting in April, my Madhu Netra classes, and that's a three month course, uh, or people can, can come for workshops. Uh, March 5th, I have uh, uh, Crystallology coming from ancient Kemet. And so I'll be running that uh, starting in March. Got you, got you. Appreciate the drop. You have any um, other words of guidance that the people might need right now? Just you know, let anything? people know that we are divine spiritual beings having a human experience. So take everything and utilize it. Okay? Because every all the trials and tribulations we're going through now is to make us the more dynamic people. Half the population of the earth is going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. And when the smoke clears, it's going to be us. But those who are seeking consciousness, seeking Uncle Ujasin. I see. Hey, keep it going, man. Um, <laughs> keep it going. My brother, how you doing, sir? I'm doing excellent. You know I'm always doing excellent. Yes, you know i got to have some powerful questions for you. How do you tie in the Moorish history with ancient comedic science? How do you tie that in all together? Well, first of all, brother, that, uh, that's almost a misnomer. You okay. can't... It's not, you don't tie it in because it's part of the same thing. All that we know of as ancient Moors or Moors, their origin is in the Hopi Valley from Africa. Mm. Uh, even though we know that uh, we are the first indigenous people here in North America, but we have to understand, North America was an ice cap on the ice when we were still flourishing on the African continent. So people take forget that. They want to say that civilization started here in North America. Right. But we, the Moors, the, the Mayans, the Olmecs, those are ancient connector Ul, coming from East Africa, the ancient Kush. You know? And so there is a connection. It's never been severed. Even when the brothers had a flourishing civilization here in North America, Central America, and Latin America, there was still trade and commerce with the brothers in Africa. So only in the modern era, when the enslavement periods came, did we have a separation. But we are one. So why is it that the brothers that study the comedic science always have the argument with the Moors saying we was never the same people? Ignorance. No such thing as the Moors. Ignorance. Yeah. We got a lot of people now professing to be scholars who are not. They read a couple of books, went to a couple of lectures, bought some DVDs, and they're on the circuit. And they ain't wrote nothing. They haven't written no books. They haven't done anything, you know. So these people are not scholars. They're self-made, self-proclaimed people. Those are the ones professing that. Because, see, one of the things you need to be able to do is read the language. When you read the Mayan glyphs, it comes from ancient Kemet. Their same word for heaven is the same word as heaven. The same word for sky, same word for sky. Same word for underwear. That half of their vocabulary comes directly from ain't the Nile Valley. So people who don't read the Madunecha, who don't read ancient Sanskrit, who don't read that, those are the ones making those claims. They found Madunecha in the uh, Grand Canyon. Mm. So, you know, what's up with that? This, this parallel to the time of Tut Ankh Amun. So that's 18th, so-called 18th dynasty, the third golden age. So you see, no, people who will say that, or people who don't know their African history or ashamed of it and want to disconnect from it. But that's okay. I love them anyhow. Okay, now, I'm quite sure you're familiar with what's been going on for the past last month, where the brothers would come and say that, the black woman can never be God. And yeah, yeah, I don't even want to get into that first. debate. I don't even want to get into that. Brother. Okay. Because I think all of all my, you know, you see, we got to keep this on a high vibration. Mm -hmm. Our scholars need to be able to speak their mind, which is part of the ancestors, without using a whole bunch of profanity. I without, agree. There you you go. know, without cursing each other out or demigrating each other's character. Mm -hmm. Leave the scholarship there. there Just talk go. about the topic you are talking about. The black woman and the black man is divine. And we should not be trying to say which one came first, which one is superior. We can't do without the other. That's what's important. There you go. 
That's I what's agree. important. Yes, I see. Divinity. We are divine beings and our black women are divine and the black man is divine and neither one can flourish without the other. Okay. Powerful. Powerful teaching. Appreciate that.